Okay, it's sometime in June 2012, probably around 20th maybe. Um, I'm in Guatemala and I'm just going on a few roads, um, dirt tracks, trying to pick my way through the mountains. It's beautiful scenery here, so I'll just give you an idea what's on the cards for today or what I'm hoping to do. So, I was here last night, Coban. Um, and I've come up here, and I've taken a road that's that's not marked on the map here, and it leads to a place called Playa Grande. And then from here, then there's a road here that says it's only it's only it's a temporary road in dry weather, even though it's rainy season. But I'm gonna head towards it anyway. Hopefully, it'll be okay. And that leads across here to Barillas, and then Barillas, and then I'll come down here. And drop into Huawei Tenango sometime. So I honestly don't think I'm gonna make Huawei Tenango tonight. Um, uh, it's pushed too far. Playa Grande is about another three to four hours away. So uh, maybe I'll stay somewhere there or somewhere along this black track here. So that's what's on the cards. This is my new safety gear. Um, gardening gloves. Lost my bike gloves. And uh, I don't wear my jacket anymore because it's just too hot and not enjoyable at all. So uh, I now have football pads on my elbows in case I bite the dirt on these dirt roads and hopefully that will stop me from sustaining a broken elbow out in these remote places. <laughs> but other than that, Burrito is running really good. Um, well, there's a little bit more vibration from it, from, I'm not sure why. Um, but otherwise, pretty good. Uh, just the chain the other day, topped her up on the oil, uh, running okay. No problem, very proud of little buddy. Mm, so, I'm gonna push on down the road and hopefully get to Playa Grande sometime late this afternoon. It's about 12 o'clock now. So, hasta luego, and I'll, see I'll do a report in between. Uh, Playa Grande is por aquí? Ah, gracias. to Playa Grande, um, up here in the mountain. Tough going, I have to say, uh, really tough going. Um, it's only 12.30, it feels like I've been traveling for hours, it's only like an hour. Um, I have to put my food up front with me again, up in the middle, because it's just way too, the dunes too heavy and bouncing all over the place, so. Push on another couple of hours to that place. Fuck it!
Mucho peso. <laughs> oh, peligroso, come me. Carreteras. Ok. Uh. ¿Para dónde? ¿Para abajo está yendo? Uh, Playa Grande, sí. Ah. ¿Qué distancia? ¿O ¿Cuántas horas? Tres horas, tal vez. ¿Tres horas? Ajá. Ok. ¿Me puede dar nada? Oh, hold on. But it's pasa? No. Oh no, I go. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, see. Uh oh. Oh, I think I have a problem. <laughs> That's not good. You go. No. Um, okay. Where there's. Hola. Hasta luego. So I just had a little tumble there oh, down the hill. Just picking away too slowly down the hill. And then you get hit in ruts, you get bang into ruts and then the bike goes sideways when you wheel and turn and stuff and it just toppled me over. I didn't think the bike was gonna start again, I was kicking up but it wasn't starting and it was some something wasn't engaging. So I bump started it. And uh, but it's working fine now. I kicked it and it seems to start now. Um, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't be putting the bike through this, but I just really wanted to explore up through the mountains and stuff like that. But uh, I didn't realize the road would be this bad. But uh, what's the fun of getting off the beaten track? But uh, hopefully Honda's holding up. I don't want to do any damage to it, so. To watch that as well. Yep. So he said it's another three hours to fly ground. So I've got my work cut out for him. Um, I'm not going to have lunch for another hour. I'll try to get more time up and then take lunch. Hola. Alright, time to hit the road again.